What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today, Tune Support! Finally, Tune Support! Uh, three cards have been revealed so far, I'm not sure if we might get some more revealed later on or not. It seems like uh, cards are just getting revealed left and right tonight, so uh, I'll probably, you know, do an update if there are any more, and I assume there will be in the future. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the ones that have been revealed so far at the time of this video. Anyway, the first one is Toon Cyber Dragon. Yeah, Toon Cyber Dragon. That's kind of interesting. I, I didn't really think of that one ever becoming a Toon. Anyway, it is a level 5 light machine uh, type uh, Toon monster. 2,100 attack, 1,600 defense, and its effect is if the opponent controls a monster, you can control no monsters. You can special summon this card from your hand. This card can attack during the turn in which it is summoned if you control a Toon world and the opponent does not control any Toon monsters. This card can attack your opponent directly. So basically, it has the Cyber Dragon effect with a tune effect, you know, it's just that basic. Uh, looks cool though, it's a good way for uh, tune players to be able to have a pretty strong monster that can easily be summoned, you know, just like a Cyber Dragon can. And uh, yeah, I love the way it looks too, it looks so funny, like <laughs> it's so cartoonish looking. That's why I love tune monsters, I mean, that's just so awesome. And this one's actually going to be in Clash of Rebellion too. The other ones are going to be in Duels of Destiny, like with the, uh, like with Hermos and evidently Critias. I just heard about that, uh, separate video whenever we get the pictures of those. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna assume there's gonna be more support in Clash of Rebellion too, uh, for Tunes. So so far, only uh, Tune Cyber Dragon, though at least at the time of, of recording this video. After that, we have Tune Ancient Gear Golem. Yes, I knew they would make this one. It makes sense. It was in the anime. I mean, come on. So Tune Ancient Gear Golem, level eight, Earth Machine type uh, effect Tune Monster, 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, and uh, its effect is this card cannot attack the turn it is summoned. If you control Toon World and your opponent controls no Toon Monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. If this card attacks, your opponent can activate Spider Trap card till the end of the damage step. If this card's attack and defense position monster, inflict piercing damage to your opponent. So again, it's basically Ancient Gear Golem's effect with a Toon effect. I mean, just that simple, uh, easy to understand, really good effects too. I mean, Ancient Gear Golem, uh, I think is one of the coolest cards. Its effect is still scary, even by today's standards. And, uh, yeah, it's the Toon form now, and again, artwork, amazing. That's why I love Toon Monsters. I mean, come on, that, that just looks so cool. Uh, I'm glad to see this one, though. This is one that I thought, out of anything, would be a Toon, just because, like I said, it was in the anime, makes sense. And uh, it's a really good Toon Monster, too. I mean, you know, having Ancient Gear Golem's effect and attack and offense like that, 3,000 attack and offense, uh, yeah, that's going to make it a really a good card, and uh, can't wait for this one to come out either, and, and to see what other Toons they can make, too. And the final card that's been revealed today, yes, it is a new Toon World. It's Toon Kingdom. It's a field spell card, too. Its effect is that uh, when this card resolves, banish the top three cards of your deck face down. This face-up card is treated as Toon World. Toon monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. If a Toon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or effect, you can banish one card from the top of your deck face down instead for each monster that would be destroyed. Really interesting card. I mean, it's a field spell for Toon, so it works just like Toon World in that. You're not really having to deal with the life point thing, and with Toon World, well, it was pretty easy to destroy. So, you know, and, and we needed something else anyway. Like I've said before in uh, past discussion videos, Toons needed either another Toon World, and something that was a little bit better too, I kind of gave them a little more, which this does, or some kind of searcher for Toon World, because you only have those three and that's it. And with this, of course, being a field spell, you can also use terraforming to search it too, so that kind of helps you out, because without Toon World, obviously Toons are nothing. With this, it can also protect Toons by uh, getting cards on top of your deck and just uh, banishing them face down, so I guess that way you don't know what you banished. Really interesting uh, that it has an effect like that, so it can also protect them if they're destroyed by battle or by card effect, which can be pretty good for tunes. I mean, you know, just any kind of a way to protect them, because since they can uh, keep attacking directly with their effects anyway, uh, that could be actually really powerful, being able to just protect them uh, from just any kind of destruction, basically. So yeah, I really like this card. I like what they did with this. And again, I'm hoping this won't be the only support that they're going to get, which I doubt it is going to be. I have a feeling there's going to be some other Toon card, like maybe some kind of searcher for Toon World, the original Toon World, or something along those lines, like another uh, spell or trap card for them. And then of course, a few more Toon monsters. Not really sure what they're going to choose. It looks like we got two from GX. It'd be cool to get some from other series as well. But uh, I, I don't really have any good guesses, honestly, to what else they can make. You know, I guess give us a Toon Cyber End Dragon. It'd be cool to see, you know, a Toon monster that goes in the extra deck or something. I don't know, just something kind of random would be cool. 
So yeah, of course, tell me what you guys think about this and what other monsters you think will be turned into Toon monsters. We'll have some different uh, ones like, uh, I'm wondering, maybe a Toon Dark Magician or Red Eyes? I mean, we got all this Red Eyes support, why not get a Toon Red Eyes? I don't know, I don't think there's one in the anime, but, you know, just because. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. As always, thank you for watching, make sure you right in, subscribe, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!